Security Service has caught a CIA agent who allegedly tried to recruit a Russian Secret Service staffer. The American agent, Ryan Fogel, was reportedly preparing for a major spy operation. And Otis Tom Button has been delving into the scandal and he's joining us now here in the studio. Hi there, Tom. So what more do you know about the, the story? Hi there, Yulia. Well, uh, Ryan Fogel, uh, pictured here, was ostensibly uh, a third secretary uh, at the political department of the U.S. Embassy in Moscow. However, according to the FSB, one of Russia's security services, he was earlier detained, according to them, in the act of trying to uh, recruit uh, a Russian special service agent, uh, a counter-terrorism agent working in the North Caucasus, to try and work for the CIA. On him, when he was uh, found, was also a, a large number, of, a large amount of money uh, in cash, written instructions for the agent he was, uh, he was trying to bring over to the CIA. CIA. Also uh, wigs used to try and disguise his appearance, some of the uh, equipment uh, shown here, uh, some communications equipment, uh, a map of Moscow and also a compass. Since then, uh, Mr. Foyle has been returned to the U.S. Embassy. Uh, the U.S. Ambassador has been summoned by Russia over the incident. And uh, so far, the U.S. Embassy has offered no comment. Yes, and this is, of course, not the first spying incident between Moscow and Washington. So please tell us more about that. Yes, there are others as well. Uh, in recent years, there have been a number of high-profile cases uh, around uh, spying. Back in October 2012, seven men were uh, charged with illegally smuggling high-tech components for the Russian army. In October 2011, a couple in Germany uh, went on trial uh, for spying uh, for Russia. In June 2010, Anna Chapman was just the most famous of... 10 uh, arrested in the US as part of a Russian spy ring. And back in January 2006, Russia accused the UK of, of spying by planting a camera inside a hidden rock in a Moscow park. All right, RT's Tom Barton live here in the RT studio. Tom, many thanks indeed.